Hello, I'm David Hargreaves with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get lots of things you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting from now. And we start with news that two former JP Morgan Chase & Co. employees have been charged relating to the so-called London Wales scandal last year. It cost the bank 6.2 billion American dollars. Strangely, the London Whale himself, Bruno Ixil is not one of those charged, and he is cooperating with federal prosecutors. Elsewhere in the US, more encouraging economic news as household debt fell 0.7% during the second quarter, mainly through a drop in mortgage balances. But Wall Street stocks are down, mainly on the back of weak earnings from Macy's department store. It's finally out. The beleaguered Eurozone has emerged from a year and a half of recession with 0.3% growth in the June quarter. In fact, the economies of Germany and France grew faster than expected, putting the much-hyped American recovery in the shade. Even some of the more basket-case economies, such as Portugal, were showing better signs, though Spain and Italy are still struggling. European shares jumped to two-and-a-half-month highs on the news. China's industrial power use in July rose to its highest level in a year. This has been taken as a sign that the economy could be stabilising and that the targeted 7.5% economic growth this year might, after all, be achieved. But in news that might be less encouraging in this part of the world in the wake of the Fonterra contamination scare, China's regulators are increasing their scrutiny of foreign companies. In the latest development, Chinese government officials are launching a three-month probe into possible bribery in the pharmaceutical and medical device industries. It looks like a quiet day locally. Uh, in commodity news, oil and gas prices are slightly higher, while the price of gold is up about 0.8%. The New Zealand dollar is up against the US and Australian currencies, and also on the trade-weighted index at 75.72. I'm David Hargreaves for interest.co.nz and that was 90 at 9.